as you said, DOS Act, I was actually going to go with that of kind of laying in redistribution and kind of, so under the DOS Act, we have the uh, kind of attempt to turn Native Americans into civilized Americans. Everyone has individual land ownership, which goes against tribal ownership, obviously. Um, a, it seems like a violation of the sovereignty that Native Americans have. Um, and then the other part, and, and I, I'll let you go with that in a minute. The other point is, it, it, it seems like, again, we're going into this gray area, right? Of like, are African Americans who were slaves in these native tribes now tribal members and thus covered under the DOS Act? Or are they just, are they African Americans and thus not covered under the DOS Act? <laughs> Under the Dawes Act, they are treated as tribal citizens and the Dawes Commission, I argue, is often the agent who is kind of um, arguing for their rights that are lined, uh, outlined in the treaties of 1866. So when uh, tribes themselves, like representatives of the Chickasaws or the Cherokees, um, try to kind of take mass, like um, mass freedmen off of their roles or try to say like that person was not a former slave here, they don't get land. Um, it's the Dawes Commission that follows up on these accusations and actually tries to help freed people um, often. Um, or when the tribes try to say someone is not um, Indian, um, and sometimes the Dawes Commission will intervene if um, the black or mixed race person can prove that they have that ancestry in various problematic ways. But um, yes, they are considered tribal citizens and the federal government is helpful to them in ways that it is not helpful to native people. Mm. It, it, but on some level, when you were saying, talking there about the DOS Commission and helping African Americans and kind of land with regard to land question, it almost sounded a little bit like what the Freedmen's Bureau was supposed to do in the South, right? Yeah, there are kind of interesting parallel institutions um they are kind of providing really since before no since with the end of the war um freedmen can write to um the secretary of the interior um who kind of is advising the dawes commission on certain issues um can write to various officials um, and then later on when the dawes commission is created they write to them and they are always kind of looking to them to secure their rights um, and to advocate for them and this, of course, is in many ways an intervention of tribal sovereignty again, um, because the whole issue is trying to take as much land from Native people and Native tribes as possible, and yet it's, it's helping Black people um, who are trying to advocate for themselves. 